Right, here we go guys. Facebook Live. Um, I'm James Arouge and uh, thank you all for tuning in today. I'm going to do a one hour set live from my uh, home piano. Uh, just so you know, I'm doing a fundraiser for Coda today. And uh, if you've got any comments you want to make, then obviously put them in the, the uh, in, 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 I was going to say put them in the description. Uh, yeah, interact with me. I, I will turn around every so often and, 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 and hear uh, what, uh, and try to, try to, try to reply. Hello, Carol. Welcome to the show. So um, grab yourselves a drink, folks. Put your feet up. And I'm going to start with a little improvisation based on a uh, song by the uh, Fleet, based on a song by one of my favorite bands called the Fleet Foxes. And this is uh, LA Rob, LA Rosie. Uh, this, this, is, this is called um, the Blue Ridge Mountains. And uh, I first heard this about more than 10 years ago. And um, I was driving in my car actually, I'd only just got my license and uh, yeah, I, I had a, I, I was listening to them in the car and I just thought they're amazing. And uh, so this is an improvisation based around uh, one of my favorite bands, the, the Fleet Foxes, enjoy. <laughs>
Right, folks, uh, moving on then. So that was uh, the fleet boxes, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. So I'm going to move on to a, another piece. I've, I've made a rough note of what, what I'm going to play tonight, but um, as I say, that, that could change at any point. So just, just for the sake of, of those of, of you that uh, are just tuning in, um, this is a Facebook Live gig that I'm doing for uh, Coda. And they're a music charity that I work for. I, I run mainly ukulele workshops with them, but uh, the, the the actual uh, uh, organisation of, of Coda is, is on the sort of Dorset Hampshire border, and we we use music for a lot of personal and, and social change. And um, you know, we we believe in the power of music to tra transform people's lives, and. We give a lot of help through uh, participation, learning, music therapy, things like that. And uh, we, we do tuition, uh, choirs, groups, ensembles, and uh, we do a lot of offsite stuff, which I've, I've been part of, where I've gone out to schools and, and done ukulele workshops with, with a lot of year, year fours in, in primary schools. Um, so we're, we're a very small charity, really, um, with a huge impact on the local community from, from little babies right up to um people who who uh, who are retired and uh you know we, we've got about 500 people that that come to coda weekly it's like a converted um barn and um it, it's a fantastic place and uh a real hive and buzz of activity and this this shutdown that we're in at the moment really really puts us in in a very vulnerable vulnerable position and um you know, especially with the older people, some of our disabled adults as well, um, for, for whom their weekly interactions with CODA is, 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 a, is a vital uh, social interaction. Um, so, you know, um, I put the donate button up, but let me know if you, if you can't see it, I'll try and get it up. But if, 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 you, uh, if you can make a donation to CODA tonight, that would be much appreciated, guys, uh, because uh, as I say, we're, we're in lockdown at the moment, and that's that's why part of the reason why we're doing these gigs. So I was supposed to be playing um, at the Shelley Theatre um, for for the Bournemouth Fringe Festival next month. So I'm really happy to be doing this live from my my piano that, that I grew up on. Uh, so it's great. But yeah, if, if you enjoyed tonight's show and and you can spare a donation, uh, would be super appreciated. If not, then enjoy the show. Um, here we go then. Onwards and upwards. What are we going to play next? Oh yes, yes. So I'm gonna play a theme inspired by uh, Debussy to some extent, one of my favorite composers. But actually this, this particular theme came to me whilst I was teaching an adult pupil right here. And we were going through a piece called Rhythms from some beginner's book, which was teaching them uh, how, how some very basic stuff on the piano. And I, I, I just, it just ran, ran away with me. And I, I, I created this, this um, improvisation based on uh, a lesson that I was, I was teaching to someone, so uh, always good, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, hi, hi everyone. Hi Deb, hi Lucy, hi Jan, hi Carrie. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us uh, for the piano show. Um, if you've just joined us, you're missing a cracker. We've got uh, the James Rouge live piano show uh, this evening uh, from my uh, very own piano, which my grandmother bought for us uh, from, from, from Harrods, actually. There, there is the sticker. And uh, so I know it well, and uh, I was, I've, I've taken the lid off tonight there's a couple of squeaks, but to be honest with you, the most annoying thing right, right now is um, some kind of thrush in, in the trees just out there. I can just literally hear some bird just chatting away. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, it's spring, so it's great. So uh, guys, if you've just joined us, make sure you grab yourself a drink, you know, put your feet up, enjoy the uh, laid back sounds. I've got myself a uh, quarantini here. Um, which is quite quite a good mix, uh, I find, in the evenings when you're in quarantine. Uh, I like to start my day with a Trump teeny with my coffee. Don't recommend that one, though. Uh, so cheers to everyone. And uh, we're going to move on to another piece now, which I played. I played a little bit of this piece at my friend's wedding. I've got, I've got two friends uh, called Cara and Timmy in New York, and they got married in Italy uh, last summer. So I'm so blessed that I got, got to be there because obviously this wouldn't have happened this year. So um, it was one of those weddings where it was like a movie, it was like something out of a martini ad, but cheers. And uh, I did uh, a little theme from Narcos. I was watching a lot of Narcos. If you've seen it, it's on Netflix. It's all about these drug wars in Colombia. And uh, I'm going to do a little improvisation based on the theme from uh, Narcos. So if you haven't seen Narcos, then you might not know what I'm talking about. But if you've seen Narcos, you, you should hear a little, little bit of it at the beginning. Here we go.
folks uh, that was the Narcos theme uh, as interpreted by by me and uh, I well for those of you that know me I, I, I always have a um, I always have a problem ending ending my improvisations because uh, they're never quite uh, they're never quite finished uh, but yeah that was the Narcos theme uh, and I just think it sounds quite badass but quite continental as well and almost like a cop movie especially with this chord Okay, uh, moving on to another improvisation. Uh, the benefit of me doing a, a live show from my uh, from from home is that uh, I've, I've I've certainly found when I, when I do live shows uh, in, in a theatre or in front of an audience, um, I, I have this habit of completely talking in this very monotone voice. So um, so I'm li being a little bit more myself, I think, this evening. So which is great. Uh, so I'm going to play something that came to me uh the other day uh and I, I was actually i was actually doing a yoga session uh in lockdown at home and we, we had something called sabasana at the end of, end of the yoga yoga session and um my yoga teacher put on some music at the end and it absolutely floored me i, mean, I was already on the floor but it completely floored me and uh funnily enough i knew i knew the composer and i i but I'd, I'd heard one of his other tracks anyway this this piece uh instantly i just fell in love with it. and i was on the floor and it was just washed all over me and i was like gosh you know you can write that you know um and i was like wow what a great yoga teacher but obviously it's not all about the music at the end <laughs> it was for me so anyway this is a little improvisation in e flat uh which is this i'm a big fan of e and e flat okay so uh, here we go Thank you. 
Evening Donna, evening Leia, welcome to the show. Better late than never. Uh, just to remind you folks, I'm doing a Facebook live show today for who's a music charity that I work for. And uh, if you can donate with us tonight, that'd be fantastic. We're raising funny, raising funnies. <laughs> We're raising funds uh, for Coda because we're, we're in lockdown. We're a small music charity and, uh, you know, anything that you, you donate can make a difference. And if, if tonight goes well, then I'm going to do a ukulele show and get probably get my dad involved as well. Uh, so that's the next plan. So it'd be really, really good um, if you can, uh, you know, leave a donation. Uh, that'd be fantastic. Moving on, though, um, I found out via Instagram uh, the other week that it was um, Twin Peaks, the 30th anniversary of Twin Peaks. Uh, if you haven't seen Twin Peaks, it used to be on TV in the 90s, and I, I think I, even I was too young to, to, to really appreciate it, but I, I, I grew to love it, and I, I got the box set, and I watched all the, all the episodes, and <laughs> to this day, I've never seen anything like it on TV. And apparently, the, the, the pilot uh, that they first aired on ABC in America, um, had some of the highest viewing figures ever for, for that sort of style of TV, much, much more than anything on, um, on, 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 yeah, <laughs> much more than anything on, um, on our TV, on Netflix or things like that. So, so I've just had, just had a little note from someone saying that they can't hear or see me, but, um, anyway. So, uh, so I'm going to do a Twin Peaks theme reinterpreted at the piano uh, for you now. So if you've seen the movie, uh, enjoy. If not, it's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Twin Peaks.
Thanks guys, thanks guys. Yes, the, the log lady, uh, the owls are not what they seem. Hello Sue, hello Stuart, hello Rosie. Thanks for all of you for joining us. Um, yeah, that was the Twin Peaks theme. And uh, I don't know if any of you have been to the Double R Diner before, but they do the damn finest coffee I've ever had in my whole entire life. In fact, I go so far as to say is that was the best coffee. And I've had a lot of coffees in my lifetime. That's up there, one of the best. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't seen Twin Peaks, make sure you check it out. Uh, anyway, uh, as I said uh, at the beginning, folks, I'm doing a Facebook Live uh, piano show for Coda today, and I'm so glad that you're, you're all with us today. So what I'm doing is I'm recording the show. Um, I'm going to put it out on YouTube after, after tonight, and I'm going to put it out on Instagram. So you can follow me on YouTube at James LaRouge, um, youtube.com forward slash James LaRouge. Um, I'm going to put it on the Coda uh, Trust uh, website as well, and I'm going to put some highlights up on Instagram, so you can follow me on at James LaRouge as well. And I'm going to do another improvisation in just a moment. I'm just having a very brief pause uh, just to take a quick message about levels, but I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Right, folks, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're back. Sorry, I just, I just had to uh, go and speak to some um, other members of the household who, who were claiming that they can't see or hear anything. So, uh, But um, we've got people interacting with me now, so I'm, I'm presuming that we're okay. Uh, so we're going to move on with the show. As I say, doing a fundraiser for Coda tonight. Donate if you can. If not, enjoy the show. I will be uploading a better quality version of this as well. So uh, stay tuned. I'm actually going to do... Uh, some Tom Jones on the piano now, which I wouldn't normally do. Um, it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Uh, this particular song, I heard a really, really slow version, and it's quite melancholic, actually. It's, it's, we associate Tom Jones with these sort of upbeat songs. So it's a great, great pop song. Um, but I've got a version on the piano that I'm going to play for you now. So here we go.
Yes, oh, and I, I, I did go to the loo as well. I will confess, but um, yeah, I had to, uh, had to, had, had to just deal with a couple of uh, people who were saying that they, they couldn't. Uh, okay. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, tuning in, everyone. And uh, we are going to continue with the show. Less, less from me. Uh, what are we going to play next? Um, right, I've got a, a, yeah, very special piece actually that I heard on Jules Holland quite a few years ago called Darkness at Noon uh, by a singer called Alar Ni. And she had this real dark Disney tone uh, to her singing voice. And uh, it's in E flat minor, one of my favorites. And um, I created my own sort of um, piano piece after hearing this, you know, just a Jules Holland show, which I really enjoyed. And, uh, and the sounds just sort of washed over me. And uh, this is my creation based based on that song. So uh, sit back, relax, grab yourselves a drink, or in my case, case I've got a quarantini because I know how to treat myself. Here we go. Then. So this is called Darkness at Noon. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good evening, Rosanna. Thanks, thanks for finally making it and joining us uh, for the Facebook Live show. We're going to continue. Uh, that was Darkness at Noon. And if you've just joined us, you're missing a cracker. As I say, I will upload all tonight's show onto youtube.com forward slash James LaRouge. Uh, and uh, as I said before, I'm doing this for Coda tonight. Donations would be much appreciated, guys, because we are in lockdown, as you know. And uh, we engage a lot of people uh, who are already in isolation to some degree. Uh, so we, we offer some fantastic services. So I hope you're enjoying the show at my piano tonight. Um, so everything I'm, I'm playing this evening, uh, just to give you some idea of, of what I'm doing, is, is improvised. And I've generally generally learn stuff by using my ear, but the greatest, the greatest force that's generated uh, through what I do is, is, is through the feeling. Um, and so that might be something I saw in a movie, um, it might be something I have on the radio, um, it, it could be something that, as I said earlier, I just heard at the end of my yoga session that someone put on. So it, it doesn't take much, but I normally, I do require some kind of um, source or some inspiration. So I sort of grab that idea and then and then I run away with it, but I don't generally uh, nowadays look up uh, music or look up sheet music or anything like that. I, I use my ear because it allows me to interpret things in my own way. And uh, this is one of those pieces and um, that I'm going to play for you by Bill Evans. It's called Peace Peace, and he's an absolute legend on uh, in the jazz scene, considered the the Chopin of, of jazz. And um, he did this piece called Peace Peace, and I heard it in my my car a couple of years ago, my new car. I'd only just got the car and I was pulling up into the driveway and Six Music were playing this um, amazing, amazing song. I didn't expect to hear on Six Music actually. And um, I remember sitting in my car in the driveway and thinking, wow, this is, this is incredible. I should, I, I was imagine I was gonna write into the show and tell them how amazing they were. I don't, I don't think I ever did, but I did go to the piano and uh, came up with this. So it's a very simple jazz sort of melody down, down here. those chords and then it's decorated on top um, and that's essentially where I add my own flavor to it here we go
Thanks, guys. Uh, good evening, Julia. Thanks, thanks for joining us. It's better late than never. Um, so, yes, here we go then. So that was my uh, reinterpretation of a Bill Evans piece uh, called Peace Peace, if you want to check it out. Uh, right, moving on. We're going to, what are we going to play for you? I've got... Oh yes, I know what I've got, yeah. Um, so there's there's a piece on YouTube called the um, Spring Waltz, which is supposedly uh, by Chopin, uh, but it's not, it's from some soundtrack or some film. Um, and anyway, it's, uh, someone sent it to me once, I've never heard it, and uh, asked, asking me if it was Chopin or if I'd learned this piece. And it did sound a bit like Chopin, but I knew it wasn't. Um, so I've called it the Spring Waltz, I'm not quite, I think it's called something to do with a marriage or something. Uh, so this is another piece that I heard and I created my own, own version. So uh, it's got quite a big piece. It's got a very catchy to it. Uh, so as I say, this is my Coda lockdown uh, solo piano show at my wonderful piano that I grew up uh, playing on. And um, thanks for joining us this evening. And uh, don't forget to grab yourselves a drink as well. I've got I've got quarantine on the go. Can't can't say what's in it, but uh, it's yeah. Cheers, everyone. Okay, here we go.
Right, thanks guys. That was uh, the Spring Waltz. Spring Waltz, sorry. Very uh, Chopin-esque. Hope you enjoyed that. Quite a big piece. I made a few mistakes at, uh, at the top in the middle, but uh, that's all part of the improvisation series because normally I, I write down exactly what I'm going to play to some degree and it, it's sort of improvised. So I decided to, uh, to to write down lots of lots of possible pieces this evening so that I've got, got so I don't actually know what I'm going to play now. Uh, here we go. Um, I think what I'm going to do uh, for my next piece is I'm going to play a uh, piece of music which I composed uh, back in 2010 um, after I went. I did a charity trek in Nepal and I I raised some money for a music charity um, called Music Makers, who um, are part of Classic FM. And uh, my grandmother was very generous um, at, at the time. In fact, she's she, she just away very recently. We had her funeral, away, which um, but but um, she 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 died of natural causes, and she was the most positive, positive, positive person you could ever meet. And uh, um. I want to dedicate this this show and this particular piece to her. So it's called Anna Penna, and I uh, wrote this after a uh, pretty grueling sort of two week trek in Nepal. Here we go. Thank you. 
Right guys, uh, so that was Annapurna, uh, dedicated to my wonderful grandmother, uh, 92. Fantastic, fantastic role model. Uh, and I uh, wrote that after going to Nepal in uh, 2010. Uh, so moving on, um, I'm gonna do a from Betty Blue now. Not an obvious film, but basically I watched um, a movie when I was about 16 and uh, a friend of mine at the time from, from school uh, played me this French uh, film called Betty Blue and uh, I was absolutely mesmerised with the, the soundtrack and uh, there's a piece in it which isn't on the soundtrack and it's, I think it's actually uh, by a composer called Schubert and uh, it's in uh, G minor, another one of my favourite keys. and. Uh, Anyway, it was really cool because it was a cold movie and, and it wasn't so I, I had to use my ear to, to, to work it out all out so uh, this is uh, a sort of decorated version of something if you haven't seen the movie it's a 1986 French movie called Betty Blue um, recommend it it's um, it's quite harrowing but it is a, is a beautiful love story as well so here we go yellow Mercedes looks like a taxi and he gets his cake out and hands it to Betty. Thank you. 
Ah, thank you, thank you, Mr. Stephen. It's good, to, it's good to have you have you here today. Some fellow coder uh, people, yes. Uh, so that is a uh, a theme based around the fantasy by Schubert um, in F minor, even though mine's in, in G minor, because that's probably what happened. I probably heard it and decided that it, it sounded better in uh, in G minor. Okay, so whilst I was in that, folks, um. I was just thinking of another movie thing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go off the beaten track uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, because I'm playing, playing for an hour. But um, well, there's still some people on, online. Uh, so just to remind you, we're doing a Coda live stream today, um, Facebook Live. Please donate. Uh, we are in lockdown at the moment. We're a music charity that has a huge impact on on our local community. So. Any donation uh, you make would really help us survive in the long term because we, we face uh, quite an uncertain future at the moment and 500 people participate in our in our schemes each week. So, um, yes, so we're, we're doing what we can at the moment. And, and as I'm sure you're aware, music is, is a vital, vital tool, especially at these times. So um, I was just thinking whilst I was playing that Betty Blue uh, piece of another theme from... Um, a um, horror movie and I'm, I'm going to play it now see, see if any of you recognize it i'm playing this name it's a from then let me know in, in the comments below because uh just suddenly came to me so I was, I was making that up on the spot to some extent but um let me know if you know what theme that was uh, and from what movie it was uh moving on to another thing so yesterday was uh children in need and um i i rephrased that as neighbors in need and i went out with my ukulele out there and um, took to the streets and met some wonderful neighbours and sung some Beatles songs with my ukulele. And uh, yeah, we had, we had a great time actually in the street. And I thought, oh, this is one of my highlights of the lockdown. Now we do the clap for the NHS at about eight o'clock on a Thursday and then we sing some songs. And I've already got something planned for next week. So uh, uh, it's been probably the most fun part of my week. The only time I get to sort of see other people, obviously you know, at, at a distance. Uh, so, uh, anyway, the reason I mentioned children in need is, well, firstly, we need your donations today, musicians in need, so 
please donate to Coda. Hopefully the donate button is in uh, the, uh, the link on, on your Facebook page. If not, then sorry. Um, and uh, I was watching Lenny Henry talk about Nairobi years ago, because they always bang on about Nairobi, don't they? Or Kenya. Uh, they always do a feature about Africa and uh, they're, they're fantastic features. And I think it's great what, what we do for children in need, but they, whoever edits those videos, they really tug at your heartstrings when you're watching them. <laughs> and um, I was watching something back in 2011, a long time ago. And um, anyway, the music that they used in this little trail that they did for um, asking people to donate was, I cannot even rem remember what it was now, but I can remember the piece that came out of it. So I called it Nairobi and uh, I haven't played this in years. It just came back to me the other day. It's on my, my YouTube. So if you search Nairobi, James Rouge, um, there's, there's, there's a track. It's really unique. And uh, I thought I'd play it for you guys this evening. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So anyway, uh, thank you so much for everyone for tuning in this evening. And this is the first time I've ever done a Facebook live show. Uh, the build up <laughs> and practicing and going through the songs today was very exciting. I have to say it's a little bit weird in practice, um, but we shall see. We shall see. But I'll, de I'll definitely do more of these. Uh, so I'm going to do two more songs. And the last song is definitely worth sticking around for. Um, before that, I'm going to play Yes, yes, I'm going to play uh, something that I would never have expected to play on the piano before, but uh, Coldplay did a song called Daddy. Um, I don't know if any of you know it, but I think it was written in relation to something in, in the Middle East. I don't know too much about it, but anyway, their, their latest album uh, has got this song called Daddy on it, and uh, I heard it, and it's got a piano part in it. So um, I took the motif, let it let it sit with me a while, and uh, as is the case with a lot of music, you know, um, it's hard to put into words, but enjoy, enjoy, and thank you for tuning in. Here we go. So. This is uh, Daddy by Coldplay, reinterpreted by me. Not a massive fan of Coldplay, <laughs> but um, I really like this theme. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, guys, uh, that was uh, a theme by Coldplay, uh, reinterpreted by me. So, listen, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in to my Facebook Live uh, show. I'm hope hoping to do another one where my dad actually joins me on the ukulele and we'll do some good old sing songs. Uh, and as I say, thank you so much for joining uh, this evening, folks, and for sticking around. It's gone on for longer than I expected to, but you know, such is the way um and yeah if you're still here and you haven't donated yet please please do because as i say uh this shutdown put, puts coda in uh, a very, very position at the moment so uh as, as i said earlier i work for coda uh, we're a fantastic music charity and uh, this last piece is called bluebells and uh, i wrote this for a, a friend of mine who passed on to um a guy who did some camera work um for a uh for canon and um it, it basically became some sort of ballet sort of short movie anyway uh i wanted to end with this theme this evening and uh i hope you enjoy all the flourishes uh you can find me on youtube.com forward slash james rouge or at instagram at james rouge i'll be uploading the entire piano show onto youtube soon as well thanks guys have a fantastic weekend here we go